Hello there and welcome to Cory Loses, where today I'm going to show you how to lose a little bit less in Star Wars Empire at War. So while I'm showing you this in the Empire at War Expanded Thrawn's Revenge mod, these are principles that apply essentially in any mod that has super ships, including the base game with, uh, with the regular executor. So we have our executor here, and as you can see, we have a lot of hard points. Uh, so that seems like we're going to get a lot of firepower up against this New Republic task force here, which we'll start the fight in a second. Uh, but because of how targeting works in Empire at War, you're not always going to be getting the full use out of all of your hardpoints. Basically, when you tell a unit to attack another unit, which I guess we will we'll do here, you are able to target, obviously, an individual hardpoint, or if the unit has shields, it's less important. So let's just break through the shields on... Let's go through the Nebula Star Destroyer. So at first, you're, you're getting the full use of all of your hard points because everything that's colliding with it is hitting, ever, or is hitting the shields, and there's one shield pool for the whole ship. So no hard points or no projectiles get wasted. But once you have the shields down on a ship, since you can only tell the ship to target one hard point at a time... You're not going to need all hundred or so hard points on this executor to break every single hard point. So when you're killing a hard point, the first uh, ten, maybe twenty hard or ten, maybe twenty projectiles are going to be hitting the nebula and destroying that hard point. But then the rest, as you can see, we'll just target a medium turbo laser, we'll destroy it, and then a bunch of them just go flying off into space. That also means that it's just going to waste half of your damage. So what you can do to get a little bit more of the damage out of the ship is you can tell it to target things in quick succession. So rather than getting through one full rotation of their weapons, have the hard point be destroyed while they're in midair, and just after you've put out another rotation of the weapons, you can tell it to basically target different stuff and there's less of a chance that it will overlap with the hard with the projectiles that are already going and destroying things. So just to give an idea of what I mean here, you just kind of wildly click on the unit and you'll see that we start to take a little bit more out of each hard point as we go. So rather than adjusting between every hard point being killed, you're able to spread some of your fire out between every hard point because it's going to refresh each weapon and then it's going to cycle through on the next hard point. So basically, if we look at the stats on the on the ships here, and again, this is something that works fairly similarly throughout every Empire War mod, uh, or Empire War as a system, because it's a game limitation, it's an engine limitation. You can see we have 50 hard points of heavy turbo lasers, 50 medium turbo lasers, 25 heavy dual ions, 20 uh, light quad laser cannons, and 10 assault concussion missiles. So that is about 155 individual shots per salvo. And again, there will be one salvo. During half the salvo, a weapon will go down. But then, because it is a two-second reload time on those, if a projectile that's going to kill a hard point is in the air when that two seconds finishes the next set of hard points are going to start off firing towards the hard point that is going to be dead by the time they get there. So the more effectively you are able to click between... Uh, there, you can see a lot of them going through on that one. So the more effectively you're able to click between these different hard points, the better you're going to make out, and the quicker you're going to switch between uh, the hard points that are already dead. And this is where... <laughs> One of the few places where mechanics in Empire War actually becomes a thing. It's less important because you're going to be up against the AI, but this is something that can even help in Skirmish. And it's not something that's unique to super ships. It is the biggest impact that you'll see is from super ships because there are so many weapons. But you're able to get similar effects if you were to use uh, larger groups of smaller ships. So rather than selecting everything in your fleet, uh, and let's say if I was commanding the New Republic here, you could take each one of these and pause the game, tell this to target one hard point, tell this to target another hard point, tell this to target another hard point, and that would get a similar effect because then each ship is able to target an individual hard point on the executor, and this is one of the places where having a bunch of little ships is better than one giant ship. 
But you could do the same thing where if you had all these guys selected, uh, and then you could just kind of switch between uh, as many different hard points in quick succession like I was doing there. And let's, uh, maybe we'll bring in a Viscount. So we'll bring in a Viscount for that. And I'm going to need another executor. Because this is going to obviously not uh, last very long. going to look a little weird. Because I'm doing a horrible job clicking on the different hard points. But you don't even have to go that fast. If you need to slow down a little bit to click more accurately on them, then that can be just as effective, or that could be even better. But let's, uh, here, we need to get this guy out of the way. So let's get the hard point, or let's get the shields down on this Viscount. <laughs> All inside each other. And we'll see when the shields start going down. Because you could just leave it so that once these shields are down, we'll have one executor firing at this hard point, one executor firing at this hard point, and then maybe a switch between them. But you're still going to get a lot of bleed through. Whereas if we select both of these guys together, and just every couple seconds, or even every couple, every half a second or so, we're clicking on a different hard point. There will be longer that some individual ones stay up. Uh, so if you really want to focus a specific hard point down like engines, this is probably not the way to do it. But if you want to go quickly through a bank of hard points, then this will be less likely to waste any individual shot. And you can see we've got all these guys down much quicker than we may have otherwise. So that's going to do it for this little video. Hopefully that is help. that's going to help you guys take out some larger targets a bit more easily because again you can do this with smaller fleets up against an executor uh, I'll probably do another video about the best ways to take on a super ship because uh, this is a factor in that but it's not the only factor and it can kind of vary based on which super ships you're fighting but again hope this helps you guys out a little bit if you have any other things you'd like to see me cover on the channel maybe some different tips and tricks to give uh, I've thought about doing a video just on some uh, quick user interface stuff that people might not know about that makes things a lot easier on the galactic level but either way thanks for watching and hope to see you next time bye everyone